Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Years ago, I was in my old university and we had a da'wah booth where people were, you know, talking to non-Muslims about Islam and, you know, giving the basic pitch and the basic introduction to Islam. And I remember there was a couple, a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, that came and they seemed interested. And uh, I remember speaking to them and saying, okay, well, let me tell you about the basics of Islam. And the, the young man, he seemed to have a smile on his face and he was listening. And the young woman, she seemed a little bit uncomfortable. And so I started talking about the basics and saying, you know, Islam, what we believe is this, that, and the other. You know, uh, these are our beliefs. We believe life is a test. And, you know, ultimately there's a heaven and a hell. Just, just the basics of Islam. And as I'm talking, she somewhat interjects. And you can tell she's a little bit uncomfortable. And she goes, I just think we should all respect each other. And I remember kind of being taken aback by this. And I was like, right, yeah. And I was thinking to myself, did I say something offensive? Did I, did I say anything that would? And I'm like, I don't think so. And so I'm like, right, of course, for sure. And I looked at the guy, and he's kind of smiling. And he was, he was also a little bit taken aback. And we were both kind of, I was like, sure, yeah. And so I continue what I was saying. And I keep explaining, you know, this is what we believe as Muslims. And you know, our book is the Quran, and whatever the case is. And she interjects again. And she goes, I just think we should all respect each other. And I just didn't get it. I was like, what? And, and so I, I was like, did I say something disrespectful? I didn't really understand. It took me a few moments, but then I realized that we were using the term respect very differently. That ultimately, her definition of respecting somebody's faith means that we don't talk about it. You have your faith, and you practice whatever you practice, and I will respect you by never questioning you, and you will respect me by never questioning me, and we won't you know, look into each other's faiths. We won't question one another, because to do so would be disrespectful. To respect one another is to leave you to do what you do, and you leave me to do what I, what I believe and what I practice, and we just leave each other alone. So in her mind, this is what it means to respect. And for me, it's quite the opposite. For me, if I respect a person, then I'm going to want to get to know his faith, uh, or his or her faith. I'm going to ask them and say, oh, tell me about what you believe, and let me tell you about what I believe, and let's compare and contrast and have a great, wonderful discussion, because we respect one another, and we can learn from one another. So anyway, the lesson behind this whole thing is, is what? Is essentially that you have to be very cautious and very careful when giving da'wah that sometimes you may think that you guys are speaking the same language, you're both speaking English or whatever, whatever language you're speaking, and that words have the same meaning. And yet, people can mean very different things by the same word. And so this was a very important lesson to me that we have to be clear and very cautious to understand what a person means by what they say and what the definitions of words are so that we can move forward in an amicable way. So, I either thought this was an important lesson. May Allah ta'ala make us of those who are always clarifying and learning when we give da'wah. Wa jazakallah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.